there Hedgy lovers welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel as some of you know this is part two of a two-part uh, mini series on the hedgehog rescue that we did um, Thanksgiving weekend 2022 if you have not watched part one you should stop this video go back check out part one then come back to this video and watch part two. Some of the hedgehog's intake process takes about five to ten minutes per hedgehog, so I'm not going to drag this video on forever with uh, each and every single one of them as far as the full length of their intake. Some take longer than others. Others are cooperate. Others are cooperative, um, and some were not. So. What I'd like to do now is to share some of the intake video with you. Keep in mind that I took in 42 rescue hedgehogs. There was different numbers thrown around in part one. Originally we were told over 40. And then there was a miscount when we first arrived of 45. And what we actually ended up with altogether was 42. So 42 hedgehogs and one rabbit and two parakeets. So please like the video and subscribe to our channel. Ring the notification bell if you want to keep updated on what's going on with our rescues. Or if you're interested in one of our pedigree hedgehogs, those videos are still up and coming. I just wanted to get this one out of the way first. Enjoy! See you at the end of the video. This is RF1. She's a brown pinto. Uh, with Algerian patches. She's super sweet. Um, she weighed 243 grams, I think. Let me double check. It was 243, I believe. Oh, sorry. 342. I had it backwards. 342. So she got. Um, her nails done um, her skin looks okay but I gave her a dose of revolution um, now we go into two-week quarantine uh, program huh look she's a sweetie okay so that is RF1 okay this is one of the brown twins there's two girls they look almost identical kind of on the shy side but friendly I think it just might be because of the move that she's a little bit shy um, her front nails look okay let me see your back feet sweetie come on let me see yeah they need a trim they're not horrible though I've seen worse so I'm just gonna do the other foot let me give me your foot come on give me your foot Give me your foot. a girl. Hold still. Hold still. There we go. See? Nothing to it. You are still a baby. I can tell. I can tell that you are less than six months old. Yes, you are. Maybe, maybe five months old, maybe, but... Not six. You're not six months old yet. No. no. Let me see your teeth. Let me see your teeth. All right. Uh, okay, this is what I do with every one of my rescues that I get in. Hold still. Okay, now you're getting rambunctious. Here, snuggle. Snuggle. Go snuggle. See, she goes snuggle. Okay. I want to see your teeth. Okay. Okay. I know you'll snuggle if you need to. Okay. It's there if you want it. You guys were abused. Huh. Okay. Let me see your teeth. Come on. Bite. Bite, bite, bite. Come on. Let me see them. Don't push it out of the way. You're pushing it out of the way. Look at you. Look at her pushing it out of the way. Look. You don't, I want to see your teeth. Come on. Let me see them. Hold still. 
Okay, your teeth are good, and they're still very young teeth. Yeah, you're, um, I don't know, same age as my babies. You're like four months going on five months old. That's you're it. A keeper. You okay. are a sweetheart. Look, she's a keeper. Look. This is RF2. RF2. Huh. Let's get you weighed and get you your revolution. That's what we're going to do now. So, it is not an injectable, but I do have to draw it out of this small tube. Point zero three milliliters. Come here, you. Come here. Let's turn the camera. Can I turn the camera? Okay, here we go. So, between the shoulders and the middle of the back, what you do is you push the spines forward a little bit, right? And then you squirt it right on the skin. Just like that. And I get to check her spines. See, she she still has a lot of adult spines coming in. She's a baby. She is a baby. She is adorable. Huh. RF2. RF2. You're adorable. Huh. Hey, this is RF. My adorable. This is RF3. Um... She's definitely a more cocoa-colored brown, like a chocolate. She's a very, very light chocolate with a very light mask. Super active. Her eyes look good. Her nose is wet and shiny. Oh, I just saw a good-looking tongue there. Let me see if I can get her to show me her teeth. Let me see her teeth. Look, look. See what they do? Watch, watch, look at her. Show me your teeth. Look at her push away. She's pushing it away. She knows, she, give me, come here, hold still. So I don't need to anesthetize them to do this. I just need to make sure that they understand me. Hey, you, you are going to be RF3 and I want to see your teeth. Let me see. Ah, 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 don't, oh, there we go. Let me see them. Let me see them. Okay, they look good. They look they're young as well. Okay, I'm definitely thinking that these two are sisters. I'm looking for the same pattern of um, new adult quills. There's maybe a few. Huh. So I'm thinking, that's why I'm thinking four to five months. Okay, she weighs in at how many? Grams? She's a blaze, uh, high pinto with pink ears. What color are your eyes? She has deep ruby eyes, deep, deep ruby eyes. I don't know if you can see that. Deep ruby eyes, huh? Huh? And she weighs yeah, in look, at stay, stay. Stay. Stay where I, hey, oh my gosh. Why is it that the hedgehogs that look like this tend to be like all over the place, except she's a brown. She's like a dark brown. All these hedgehogs have to be related. Will you snuggle? Oh. Just for a minute, because I have to prepare your medicine. You need to hold still. Hey, hold still. They just don't. There she is. She's looking at the hedgehog in my pocket. Okay. Hey. Hold still. Just just for a little while because I don't want to drop you and I don't want to mess. I don't want to drop you. Okay. RF5. Hi. She's chilly. I think she was the one that I felt it was really, really cold. But um, she's warming up. So that's good. I mean, on her own, she's warming up. So that means she did not go into a hibernation fully. Yep, your toes need to be done. I might as well do it while I have you here. Hold still. Hold still. Oh, it's just it's just the nail. Don't don't worry. Yeah, I get it. RF six. 
she's not biting me, but she's definitely super, super interested in whatever is on my finger. She's a little nipper. She's a little nipper, huh? That means you could accidentally bite. We don't want you to be a biter. No. Hey. No. Boy, what is on my finger that's just got you going crazy? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see your front nails. Oh, see? Almost made me poke you now. Okay, let me see your eyes. Eyes are clear. Let me see. Hey, let me see. Let me see. Come here. Or are you a girl? So that's a no. No, you are a boy. Okay, that's not good. If these are all girls. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Are you a boy? Okay, so that is not RF6, that would be RM1, because that was a boy in the same box as this girl. So she's not going anywhere for at least 40 days. At least 40 to 50 days out, this one here, RF6. You are 40 days out. I'm going to make it 50, 50 days out before you can go to a home, just in case. Just in case, because you were in there with the boys and you're older. You know better. Doesn't mean you did, I'm just saying. Give me your foot. Oh yeah, them nails need to be done. Big time. You're good about it though. Okay, okay, okay. Front feet, let me see them. Oh, oh, yep, oh, oh. These have never been done, ever. They have to be done one at... Hold still. A time. There. Other one, last one, last one. See now these are growing into her. I don't know if you can see it, but they're growing into her paw. So we're definitely gonna get that out of there. Yep, and this one. Oh, hold still. Doesn't that feel better? Huh? Okay, so good. This is why I was waiting. Waiting and waiting to give them a bath. I have to wait to give them a bath. So I gave them the revolution first because I know. Here we go. Yep. Knew that was going to happen. What's the point in giving them a bath and then having them do this right away when they have a new place to live? Okay. Okay. Well, that's better. Lighting is a little better. Um, I am out of cages. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to double up. Uh, my older females, which is fine, I can do that with no problem. I'm gonna double up my older females, and then that'll make more cages available for the rest of the rescue hedgehogs that I have. Um, I don't know if I have any more females mixed in down here. We'll see. Um, right now, I'm looking at 13 males and um, 13 females. So that's 26, 13 and 13. But look what I've had to do here. So I have had to stack in the quarantine area the cages five high. One, two, three, four, five. There's another stack of five cages. I had to put two cages on top of where I've got the bunny and our chins are down here. And then I've got four more cages over here. Well, but I have one dozen um, hedgehogs left to clean up, put in cages, give them their revolution, get them checked in. Um, that means I'm going to have to take 12 of my females, the older ones, and put them together. 
um, I know that there's some that get along just fine. So that I can make 12 cages available, a dozen cages available for for these guys that are still living in drawers. We get this done now. Okay, here we go. So, this is a Pinto. There is the Pinto markings. Gray Pinto, do you have a mask? Can I see your face? Nails aren't too bad. Those are naturally rounded off, so you do a lot of digging and scratching in your cage. Can I see a face? Huh? Can we get to see a face? Huh? There's a mask. Yeah, you're shy. You're shy, huh? Let me see. Let me see. Where are you going? Where are you going? Is this a little boy? This is little girl. Only not so little, huh? You're older. You're much older. You have a full mask. Okay, last one. Are you a boy or a girl? You have to have your nails done. I saw that. So we are going to do your nails. Yeah. We're going to do your nails. So give me your foot. Oh, got it. Oh, those aren't so bad. You've been doing a lot of digging. Don't click at me. Let me see your feet. Let me see your feet. Let me see. Let me see this one. Okay, that nails look good on that front foot. That is mail number 20. I know I got a light behind my head. How's that? That's better. Mail number 20. 18 girls, 20 boys, right? That's 38. And four babies makes 42. 42 hedgehogs rescued. I'm happy to do it. As you can see here is what their cages look like now compared to what they used to look like. They're all nice and clean and shiny. Here is the rabbit and then our two parakeets. They're also available. Um, these poor guys, they didn't even know what a wheel was. Here's one of our little uh, little guys in the wheel. Of course, now I have the camera, so he has to come out and check out to see what I'm doing. <clears throat> and a lot of them were not eating the correct food, and they were all hungry. This is six girls in one cage. It's a big cage. So this is what happened as soon as I put a bowl of food in for them every single time. Please feed your hedgehogs. Hey, I'm glad that you made it to the end of the video. Editor James here. Just wanted to take a few moments to let you know that um, I had to cut out quite a bit or else this video would have gone on forever and ever and ever. Um, I may or may not make uh, the videos available for each individual rescue that we took in. Um, maybe if that's something that you'd like to uh, see on a one-on-one -on -one individual basis, if you're coming down to look at the rescue hedgehogs and you want to see more information on them, just know that there are 20 males, um, 18 females, and that's not including the babies. The babies, there are three females and one male uh, baby hedgehogs. The male has now been separated from the three baby females because I do suspect that they are over the age of seven weeks old. Um, guessing like right around eight weeks of age as of this video. Uh, very much babies ready to bond. Um, once again, as I mentioned in, in uh, part one, please check the link below. Make sure that you are subscribed. Um, click the like button, please. That helps me out quite a, quite a bit. And uh, share this video far and wide because I would love to see all of these hedgehogs be able to have the opportunity to go to a brand new forever home. Otherwise, they're just going to stay here. And while that's all well and good, I cannot give them individual one-on-one -on -one time like somebody 
offering their home to one of these hedgehogs would be able to do. Um, enough said. This video has gone on for long enough. I thank you for watching all the way to the end. And if you're still here and you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section. Again, if you're looking at wanting to um, purchase one of our rescue hedgehogs, please fill out an application, fashogs.com, that's fashogs.com, or feathersandspikes.com for the application. That's our application. If you want to have a uh, rescue hedgehog, please fill out the application at the HWS site or the Hedgehog Welfare Society site. That address is down in the comment or down in the comment section below as well, um, or in the description, I should say, not in the comment section. Um, those things are very important to have filled out before you uh, come in to purchase a rescue hedgehog. All of our rescues have to be approved by the HWS, and you can find them at Hedgehog Welfare Society or the uh, HedgehogWelfare.org site. Um, again, thank you for putting up with such a long video. Take care. God bless. Peace out.